buddy, Jesse here, JR MPB. Uh, so I just wanted to film this video on location at a trail system um, because I'm wrapping up 2021 and I really just wanted to take a couple minutes to talk, to talk about some of my favorable moments and, um, you know, just my plans for next year and, you know, just overall everything. So first off, I really want to thank everybody who has subscribed to my channel. I'm at uh, 113 subscribers as of today. Uh, which is pretty massive considering I just started this this YouTube channel a year ago. Um, not really with like a direction of where I wanted to go. I was mostly just filming myself riding my bike. Um, and I'm still filming myself riding my bike, but um, I definitely want to have like a reason. And I really just want to try to encourage people to get out on their bikes. Um, I'm 32 years old and you know, sometimes you feel like you might be too old to be like, I don't know, riding mountain bikes aggressively or trying stupid stuff or possibly injuring yourself. And when you work a nine to five job like I do in a office environment, it seems even more sillier to most. But um, that's basically like the whole purpose around this channel is I just want to really encourage people to ride their bikes. I really want to showcase the Niagara region trail systems, but also I just want to kind of have a, a timeline of my own progression as well as my friends and the people I'm writing with. Um, so anyways, if you are one of my subscribers, thank you so much. Uh, the support means like a lot to me and I really, really appreciate every single one of you. And if you're new to the channel, um, thank you for checking out this video and I really do hope that you stick around and subscribe and, you know, follow along with my uh, mountain biking journey. So yeah, I just wanted to recap some of the things that have happened this year. I've went through a few different bikes. Um, so my very first video on my YouTube channel is of me riding my uh, Scott Aspect 960. It was a 2019 version. Um, and you know, that was kind of like my introduction to riding it. My feet are numb guys from how cold it is. But uh, yeah, I mean, that was my introduction to riding on a 29er but also just like my real introduction into riding mountain bikes and just really getting into it. My Scott aspect was really just like my introduction into riding. So I will kind of put a clip in here of me riding that bike. All right, I don't know about this, we'll see. It's a little steep, man. Did you ride it? You rode it? <laughs> oh yeah, this trail's kind of cool though. And then I um you know, I, I traded that bike. I got this Kona dog. It was a 2004 full suspension. Um, it was kind of a stupid trade to be honest, but I really just kind of got sucked into this whole full suspension idea, you know, with the pandemic and uh, being a shortage in bikes. I just really wanted to like have that full suspension bike. Um, but after riding that, crashing a couple times, I realized like I needed something more. Um, and then I got another Scott Aspect, but it was a 2021 version, which is a really great bike, but I traded that for my Narco Shore too. Um, and then from there, I've got the Scott Spark 970, which is a 2021 version. And uh, I'm very, very happy with this bike and I think I'm sticking with it. Um, but yeah, so this, this year has been a year full of bike transitions, me trying to figure out, you know, the type of riding I want to do and just trying new things. I've also had a few crashes that have actually injured me this year. Um, my very first crash was just locally on a trail and I went over the bars and I just slammed the ground so hard. Um, 
I bruised like a couple ribs and I think I even bruised like my sternum area. And then my second hardest crash was at a horseshoe bike park, um, which was just like a, you know, out of the blue type of situation. And um, I went over the bars there and I really hurt my foot and ankle. Um, but you know, that's just part of riding your bike and doing any sort of sport. There's going to be injuries, uh, accidents are gonna happen. And uh, you know, those are the things that make you into a better rider because it really puts into perspective sometimes when you have to like take a step back and maybe not try, you know, a trick or something. Or, or sometimes you need to just kind of push yourself to that limit and really uh, hope that you succeed so you don't crash, you know? Um, but uh, yeah, you know, there's been a couple crashes and I'll, I'll put those videos um, in here as well so you can see. Oh. But yeah, overall, um, I do plan on doing some more bike trips. Definitely going to visit Horseshoe Bike Park a lot this summer. Um, depending on where you know the future holds us, if I can get over the border without you know a huge hassle, I definitely want to check out some of the states like New York, Vermont. Um, and I really want to do some riding over there. Um, I definitely want to check out Quebec and some of the trail systems there. So I think in the future, this uh, this channel is going to continue to grow. Um, you know, my future projections are on track to where I want to be. But really, I just want to continue to showcase, um, you know, different trail systems, the progression that the Niagara region is going in. Um, I really just want to show you guys that a 32-year-old man who... Uh, you know, a 32 year old guy who hasn't ridden his bike in probably like seven years after breaking my arms, you know, you can still manual, you can still bunny hop, you can still do jumps, you can still do anything that you really want to. Um, and there's really not an age restriction to it. So now that's my biggest push. Um, I'm not trying to be like a pro or anything, really just trying to have fun and bring you guys along on that fun. And uh, so on that note, I am recording on two cameras just in case one doesn't really work. Um, I'm filming on my mirrorless Sony camera that I don't use too often. And then I also have my GoPro. So um, anyways, guys, I'm gonna wrap up this video with a huge thank you. Thank you again for supporting me. I hope you do like this video. Please like it. You know, Leave me a comment of <coughs> your most memorable 2021 moment, but uh, yeah, just let me know what you guys are planning on doing next year and um, who knows, maybe we can meet up and go for a ride. So I'm going to continue riding because I'm getting very cold. It's uh, negative two out here. And uh, thank you all for joining me in this moment. Happy New Year. Thank you all for supporting me this year. I'm really stoked on what next year is going to bring. And uh, I hope you guys are too. On that note, peace out. Thanks for watching everybody. Okay, we're gonna just ride downhill now at this point. Uh, there's a trail here. And it should be pretty fun. It's gonna be a little spicy, just with how slick and stuff it is, but 